Hello students, we are uh, from chapter 7, uh, Agent of Erosion and Deposition. As you know, there are four sections, the active rivers, uh, we have already finished, the shoreline erosion and deposition, uh, section 3, wind erosion and deposition, section 4, the effect of gravity and uh, deposition. Today we are going to study uh, shoreline erosion and deposition, section 2. All right. First, the students, for that section, we have to know the meaning of erosion and deposition. What is the meaning of them? Let us learn firstly. Let us start from uh, erosion and deposition. Erosion is the process by which soil and sediment are transported from one location to another. Students, we have to know the definition of erosion. And definition of deposition. Deposition is the process in which material is laid down or dropped. We have to know their uh, definition, students. And we have to know, students, uh, weathering from chapter 6 what is weathering students the process by which materials materials meaning rock materials are broke down by action of physical and chemical process without transportation that means the rocks break down without transportation without move abrasion we have to know the grinding and wearing way of rock surface through the mechanical action of the other rocks or sand particles and from section 1 students it is going to be small revision agent of erosion and deposition active rivers shoreline wind and gravity actually active rivers it is going to be section 1 and we have already finished shoreline we are going to study it is going to be section 2 wind and gravity Wind going to be uh, mostly section 3, gravity going to be section 3 students, sorry, section 4. And from uh, our first video students, kind of rivers. There are four kind of rivers, we are going to remember that. Youthful rivers, mature rivers, old age rivers and rejuvenated rivers students. Don't forget them please. Shoreline erosion and deposition. Wave energy. Wave, one wave crash into rock, that means beat the rocks. Over long period of time, the rock are broke down into smaller and smaller pieces until they become to sand. Students, remember weathering and abrasion. Wave usually play a major role in building up and breaking down the shoreline shoreline meaning beach but that is different between shoreline and beach don't forget students shoreline we are not going to forget that one because it is new definition for us shoreline is the boundary between land and body of the water they ask directly what is shoreline in Ishtiman exam what is shoreline for example, cancelled shoreline, what is it? Is the boundary between land and body of water. What is it? For example, uh, abrasion, weathering, shoreline. Which one? Shoreline. Okay. We have to memorize that uh, uh, definition, student. Definition of shoreline. At the wind move across the ocean surface, it's produced ripple called wave. The size of wave depends on how hard wind, that means strong wind, is blowing and how long wind blows. The wind that result from summer is called hurricanes and severe winter storm produce large wave that cause dramatic shoreline erosion. Wave trains. Wave travel in a group called wave trains. 
One wave train reach shallow water, the bottom, bottom of the wave dra drag against the seafloor, slowing the wave down. The upper part of wave move more rapidly and grows taller and begin to curly and break. These breaking waves are Nova's surf. The time interval between breaking waves called wave period. The pounding surf. Tremendous energy. Tremendous meaning very huge, very large, very big, very big energy. Uh, tremendous energy released one wave break, waves break, crushing waves can break solid rock and throw rock, broken rocks back against the shore. Breaking waves wash away fine grains of sand which are pick up, picked up by the waves and wear down and polish coastal rock. The process continues until rock is broken down in smaller and smaller pieces that eventually become sand. Yeah, the large pieces going to be a smaller, smaller what uh, sand or small, small piece of uh, rock. Wave erosion, shaping a shoreline. Wave erosion produce variety of features along a shoreline. Much of erosion responsible for coastal landform take place uh, during the uh, storms. Students, a big or a huge wave coming to beat the, what the sea uh, rocks or beach rocks. Can you see it is making shape? Look, it is going to be very different shape in the beach. So this one going to be uh, with power of waves. We call those shape very different shape uh, sea cliff. That means there is some of them cave and different sh shapes. We call them sea cliff. Sea cliff are form one wave erode and undercut rock to produce steep and slope. Students, I have. Uh, Something here, maybe you can see or not, I don't know. Can you see? There are type of sea cliff here, for example. We call this one sea uh, arches, for example, sea arches. For example, we call this one sea cave. Can you see sea cave? Uh, sea stack, for example, this one, students. There are uh five kind of sea cliffs let us see, uh, check together of them firstly uh, first kind of sea cliff students first kind sea stack are offshore clown of resistance rock that were once connected to mainland students as i told you there are there are five kind of uh, sea cliff. You have to memorize them, their name and their uh, definition because they are going to ask also in the Nishtimani exam also. The first one, sea stack. Second one, students, sea arch, arches, sea arches form one with action continues to erode a sea cave cutting completely through the rock. Number three, students, sea caves from one waves cut large holes into fractures or weak rock along the base of sea cliff. Number four, students, let me write number four. Number four, headland are finger-shaped projection that form one cliffs made uh, made of hard rock erode more slowly than surrounding rock and yani headland meaning 
the nose of beach. Number five, number five, wave cut terrace from one sea cliff is worn back, producing a nearly level platform beneath the water at the base of cliff. There are five kind of uh, cliff students. We have to know them and we have to memorize their name and their uh, definition, students. Please don't forget. Wave de deposit. Wave erosion. One uh, wave deposit. We finish wave erosion. Now it is wave uh, deposit. And erosion and deposit, it is different. That, uh, that means it is um, different meaning. Beach. Beaches are areas of the shoreline made up of material deposited by waves. Some beach material is also deposited by rivers. Waves carry a variety of material including sand, rock, fragments, dead coral and shells. The colors and texture of beaches vary because type of material found on a beach depending on its source it is going to change because the beach type going to, going to change according to their material their mini mineral their rocks offshore deposit one wave erode material from the shoreline long shore current can transport it and deposit the material offshore which created landform open the water what about the sandbar is an underwater or exposed ridge of sand gravel or shell material a barrier spit is an exposed sandbar and connected to shoreline students normally our topic finish but we have to know some things we have to we have to know or we have to memorize some things students from our section because it is very important in Nishtiman exam what are they students firstly you have to know erosion the meaning of erosion erosion you have to know erosion students uh, you have to know student deposition Position. It is very important for Nishtman exam. Students, you have to know uh, shoreline, shoreline, and their meaning. You have to know what is wave train. Wave trains. Uh, sea cliff, students. Sea cliff, beach, beaches. We have to know sandbar and also students. We have to know type of. We have to know type of. Uh, let me use other paper. You have to know student another one know another important point as I told you you have to know their name and the defi uh, definition what are the type of types of sea cliff remember them students what are they firstly the first one first one students don't forget C stack is it second one students sea cave sea cave number three students sea uh, arches sea uh, r arches 
Number four, students. C cave. C cave we wrote, we wrote number three, number headland. Is it headland? Headland. Number five, students. What is number five? Wave. Cut. Is it wave cut? Terrace. Is it? You have to know them and you have to memorize.